It's that time of the year again when four championship teams battle it out in a bid to reach the richest game in football. Let's get to know the teams in the mix. Third place, Luton Town will be making their second consecutive attempt at reaching the Premier League, a competition that they've never played in before. Luton have come a long way. Less than a decade ago, they were a non-league side. Last season, they finished sixth and lost out to Huddersfield in the semis. They used that as motivation, rounding out this season unbeaten in their last 14 matches. The Hatters have been thriving under manager Rob Edwards, who took over from Nathan Jones after he quit for Southampton in November. If only Jones would have stayed. Luton will be relying on striker Carlton Morris for goals, with 20 to his name this season, the third most in the league. Who are they up against? The Black Cats. On the final day of the championship, five teams had the chance to qualify for the playoffs, and it was Sunderland who snatched sixth place in dramatic circumstances with a 3-0 win over Preston, putting them ahead of Blackburn Rovers on goal difference. Manchester United loanee Amad Diallo is one to watch. The 20-year-old has been flourishing since landing in the northeast on a season-long loan. He's made 37 appearances, scored 13 times along with three assists and netted in their crucial win on the last day. It would be the ultimate redemption story for Sunderland, who were relegated from the Premier League in 2017, leading to a devastating fall to League One the year after. Middlesbrough are in a similar boat, hoping to return to the Premier League for the first time in six years. Former Manchester United midfielder Michael Carrick has led an incredible transformation. Burrow was sitting 21st in the championship when he replaced Chris Wilder in October. Carrick has brought out the best in Trooper Akpom, who's the championship's top scorer with 28 goals. Aussie fans will also have a Socceroo to cheer for in the playoffs, with Riley McGree expected to be in the thick of it for Middlesbrough. And we know he's not afraid to score some stunners. Coventry have also faced their fair share of misery since experiencing relegation from the top flight in 2001. They crashed all the way down to League Two and even flirted with extinction. But the last few years have been far more enjoyable, working their way out of the fourth tier all the way to the championship where they've been for the last three seasons. Swedish goal-scoring machine Viktor Gjokuresh is second to Akpong, having found the back of the net 21 times in the 2022-23 campaign. The winners of the semis will face each other in the ultimate decider at the Cathedral of English Football Wembley Stadium. The prize? Promotion to the Premier League and around £200 million in the bank. That's almost half a billion Australian dollars. So, who will make it? Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.